Goedenavond kijkers en welkom in Phoenix, Arizona voor ons dagboek over Super Bowl 42. Zoals we gisteren aankondigden is het vandaag de beurt aan de New England Patriots om hun licht te laten schijnen op Super Bowl 42. En ook zij hadden een paar interessante dingen te vertellen. I just want to do my job. I just want to make sure I'm in the right spot for, for Tom and, and do what I need to do to make sure uh, that I'm ready uh, to do, do whatever I can on Sunday. I'm not using any, any wrestling moves out there, it's, it's all football technique. Jesus Christ, Mike. Oké, sorry Albert. Het is de laatste dag, dus we get alle vragen uit nu. Ik ga naar de oudere mensen kijken, zoals you know, Tom, such as Brewski, Grable, you know, guys die ervaren zijn, om ze te zien en te zien hoe ze hun you know, preparatie naar de game gaan. Ik wil hen volgen hun lead en uh, you know, hopelijk kunnen ze ons leiden down dat path. It's just one of those things where you just, as a young guy, you get in line and you just follow. You know, whatever they tell you to do, whatever schedule, set out plan they have, you just do it. You know, because it, it's proven itself time and time again. You know, I think the motivating factor now is winning. I mean, that's, there's, there's no better feeling than, than, than wins or losses. And I think as, and when you play in this system, the wins, You don't get to celebrate those very long. Coach Belichick comes in the locker room after the game. He's like, you know, guys, good win. You know, it's a good way to play, good performance. But now we're moving on to next week. You know, and we celebrated for about five seconds. But when you lose, I mean, he's on you till Wednesday morning when you show up again. Our, our hotel, we're kind of taking it back to college. You know, like leave your room, your door open, and leave the side door open. The guy's just uh, barging in, messing up your sheets, and then leaving. So, I mean, this, this has been a great experience. And... You know, the older you get, you want to feel, you know, still a part of what's going on. And we have fun. We have our laughs and jokes. And uh, like I said, man, it does feel like a, like we're in college again. You know, uh, it, it's a great feeling to know that uh, as us as humans have established something as far as a game goes, a game of football, where you can be perfect. You can, you, there's, there's a such thing as perfection in a humanistic view, whereas us personally as humans, we can't be perfect. So I think it, it makes it that much greater because you have a chance to see and feel what that is, you know, perfect. How much? I'm not paying no $77,000 to see no Super Bowl. I wouldn't pay that much to watch Tom and Giselle play. <laughs> <laughs> Een ring, een Super Bowl ring. Daar is het hem zondag om te doen in Super Bowl 42. U heeft gehoord wat beide teams verwachten. Morgen in ons dagboek aandacht voor het stadion, het University of Phoenix Stadium. Heeft u intussen vragen? Stuur ze gerust naar primenfl.yahoo.com. En wij proberen ze te beantwoorden komende zondag. Tot morgen voor de volgende aflevering van ons dagboek.